Greetings and welcome back. In this lesson, we will discuss how a left join works, which is another way to merge two tables. Before we start talking about left join, let's quickly review what we've learned so far. In chapter one, we introduced the pandas merge method that allows us to combine two tables by specifying one or more key column to link the tables by. By default, the merge method performs an inner join, returning only the rows of data with matching values in the key columns of both tables. In this lesson, we will talk about the idea of a left join. A left join returns all rows of data from a left table and only those rows from the right table where key columns match. Here we have two tables named left and right. We want to use a left join to merge them on key column C. A left join returns all the rows from the left table and only those rows from the right table where column C matches in both. Notice the second row of the merge table. The columns from the left table are filled in while the column from the right table is not since there wasn't a match found for that row in the right table. Let's review another example. To help us learn more about left joins and other concepts in this chapter, we will use data from the movies database. A community built movie database with info on thousands of movies, their cast and popularity. In our next example, we have two tables from the movies database that we want to merge. Our first table named movies holds information about individual movies such as the title name and its popularity. Additionally, each movie is given an ID number. Our table starts with 4,803 rows of data. Our second table is named Taglines, which contains a movie ID number and a tagline for the movie. Notice that this table has almost 4,000 rows of data, so it contains fewer movies than the movies table. To merge these two tables with the left join, we use our merge method similar to what we've learned in chapter one. Here, we list the movies table first and merge it to the taglines table on the ID column in both tables. However, notice an additional argument named how. This argument defines how to merge the two tables. In this case, we use left for a left join. The default value for how is enter, so we didn't need to specify this in chapter one since we were only working with inner joins. The result of the merge shows a table with all of the rows from the movies table and a value for tagline where the ID column matches in both tables. Whenever there isn't a match in ID, in the taglines table, a null value is entered for the tagline. Remember that Pandas uses the NAN to denote missing data. After the merge, our resulting table has 4,805 rows. This is because we are returning all of the rows of data from the movies table and the relationship between the movies table and tagline is a one-to-one. -one. Therefore, in a one-to-one -one merge like this one, a left join will always return the same number of rows as the left table. Now, let's practice.